What's up guys, it's your boy Ruben coming to you with another review on the Whistle Fit Activity Monitor for your dog. Now this is not the GPS tracker, so if that's what you're looking for, click off of this video right now. And I would like to say, this is from the Pet Insight Project from Banfield Hospital. They did not sponsor me and I'm not getting any money out of making this video. This is an honest review for you guys, just to see what I think of the actual Whistle Fit. Now before we get started, if you're new to the channel, on this channel we go over the American Bully and the Pit Bull and basically all bully breeds, how to kill the stereotypes of them being bad dogs and us being a better owner at the same time. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos. What's up boy? What's up boy? What's up? Okay again, I want to say thank you to WhistleFit for giving me the WhistleFit for free but I am not sponsored. This is actually a test that they're doing. We keep the whistle fit on our dogs for like six months. We could get some bonus uh, coupons, in-store credit, and a DNA test for your dog after the six months mark. But yeah, so let's get started. I can't really do an unbox for you guys because I was so eager to get the thing out of the box and I didn't realize that you guys might wanted to see that. But here I got a whistle fit card and in the back it shows you the instructions for the whistle fit I have the actual whistle fit device let's see if you guys can see that it's a little small thing and then they gave me a little bag that has the charger and two clamps to clamp on the whistle fit to your dog's collar before you get started and getting your whistle fit connected and all that Keep in mind, I do have a bigger dog. So a collar like this that's nice and thick and durable will not work for your dog. This collar is too big. And what I mean is the clamps won't clamp on to this. It's too wide. You need a smaller collar such as this. You see how much thinner it is? You would need a collar like this. So I had to go and buy this. It's only like a buck, two bucks. I do keep both of them on. I don't know, I just like the thick one on him. I can have more control of him, but that's besides the point. You need a little collar like this. It's a little bit thinner, I believe. It's like an inch and whatever, but just not too thick. So that's what you guys need before you get started. It's a good tip to have. Now here in a minute, I'm gonna change the camera view so you guys can see what it's like unbagging this and how you can get it set up to your collar. And also, I wanna get into the app the actual app of Whistle Fit and show you guys what it looks like when you're trying to track your dog's activity monitor. What's up, boy? What's up? You just want a bunch of loving today, huh? What's up? Say hi to the camera. <laughs> All right, guys, so the card that comes in the Whistle Fit box gives you instructions on how to get started. So, first, you get the Whistle app and then you download that to your smartphone. It does give you an iOS or Android version. Then you get up and set up your device. It does give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. You connect to your Wi-Fi and so on and so on. And then you let your whistle fit charge, which I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in a second. And then after that, you attach it to your pet and then you just get started with your whistle fit. So let me show you how I get it charged and attached to the collar. So how you charge this is you wanna do undo this. Let's see if I can undo it with one hand. Cool. And then the back over here, you can take off this black piece. Oops, wrong side. And what that does, that's where you hook in the charger. So this end. Boy, leave it alone. Leave it. Right there. That's where you plug it in. I'm doing it one hand. This is kind of challenging. all the way in there right now I'm gonna show you how to clamp on the whistle fit to a collar so like I was just saying this thick collar right here will not work it's too thick and let me show you why if I were to get this clamp right here here I gotta juggle this around a little bit and you would want to attach it the clamps 
barely reach over the collar and you would have to literally bend the collar in order for it to get clamped on even though this collar is backwards this is just an example it won't be able to clamp on so what you need is a smaller collar like this one actually let's turn this around and it should be able to fit perfectly so this is how it's able to clamp on you have your whistle fit this black clamp latches onto that one little side of the whistle fit and it stretches and it clamps onto the other so it's not going to fall off so it should be able to stick to your dog at all times and track his health and that is how you clamp it on so uh, I'm gonna attach this to my dog and then we're gonna go ahead and get into the app and see what the app looks like. All right guys, so after you set up your whistle fit, you would type in the breed, the age, the weight of your dog, connect to your Wi-Fi, all that good stuff and you'll land on this screen. Now let me explain the screen a little bit. So at the top, you have your dog. See if your whistle fit is charging, the battery percentage, and that's at the top left and we're shooting for a B score and that's also in the middle. Right above that though is a calendar. You can see which day it is. Our goal is 76 minutes. We haven't reached any of that yet since we just started. It shows you the calories burned, the distance they've worked, and the rest they've got. And then at the bottom, there's a share button for your account. You can share any of your stats for your dog to any social platform that you would like to. If you click at the bottom, there's a paw icon here goes to your dog's stats and breed and all that good stuff so you click on this little pencil right here you could change the breed bottom you could change the sex the age the weight the time zone you have your achievements the collection and then all time stats the daily averages for your activity distance calorie burn daily rest active day or most active day and longest streak all right guys, so you guys see the basics of the app. So now that I showed you guys the app, I want to kind of give my dog a little bit of activity right now and see if I could get him to burn some calories. We're gonna go to the park, not too long because I want this to be a just a short review for you guys. But um, yeah, we're gonna go get some activity in and see what the app looks like after he's done working out a little bit. So without further ado, I'll see you guys in a minute. Now we're just taking him for a walk, me and my son. Some activity today nothing too crazy but it's a beautiful day you can see the whistle fit is right there on him still still working it's not doing nothing come on it's not bothering him and it looks good we're just about wrapping this up too so in a minute, we'll get back into the app and see what this little bit of activity that we've done has shown up in the app. So this is the app after we've had some of our activity. We've been walking 28 minutes. He burned 317 calories. Distance 1.6 miles. He rested for 1.1 hours. But was walking 21 minutes, 0.7 miles, and 107 or 112 calories. It says low activity, one hour, six minutes. So this is just starting off. It's a good overview of tracking your dog's activity. All right, guys, that was my whistle fit review. My overall take on it is I actually really like the whistle fit because it gives me insight of what my dog is doing, such as if he's burning calories, if I'm feeding him too much or if I'm not feeding him enough. I want him to stay kind of shredded. So uh, it would let me know if he's burning too much, working too hard, if he's resting too much. That gold that the whistle fit gives you is a good, uh, like, you know, what you want to meet for your daily, you know, movement and activity for your dog. So if this is something you guys want, there's a link in the description that'll get you $20 below. Get your whistle fit today and get a healthier lifestyle for your dog, like how I'm trying to do. And if you like this video, like it, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Like I said, if you're an American bully owner, I try to kill the stereotypes of saying they're bad dogs, how we could be better owners, and all that good stuff. 
So I'll see you guys later. I'm out.